the apocalypse of Peter. Many of them will be false prophets and will teach divers ways and doctrines of perdition. But these will become sons of perdition. And then God will come unto my faithful ones who hunger and thirst and are afflicted and purify their souls in this life. And he will judge the sons of lawlessness. And furthermore, the Lord said, let us go into the mountain, let us pray. And going with him, we, the 12 disciples, begged that he would show us one of our brethren, the righteous, who are gone forth out of the world in order that we might see of what manner or form they are, and, having taken courage, might also encourage the men who hear us. And as we prayed, suddenly there appeared two men standing before the Lord towards the east, on whom we were not able to look. For there came forth from their countenance a ray as of the sun, and their raiment was shining such as I, a man, never saw. For no mouth is able to express or heart to conceive the glory with which they were endured and the beauty of their appearance. And as we looked upon them, we were astounded, for their bodies were whiter than any snow and ruddier than any rose. And the red thereof was mingled with the white. And I am utterly unable to express their beauty. For their hair was curly and bright and seemly both on their face and shoulders as it were a wreath woven of spikenard and divers colored flowers or like a rainbow in the sky. Such was their seemliness. Seeing therefore their beauty, we became astounded at them since they appeared suddenly. And I approached the Lord and said, Who are these? He says to me, These are your brethren, the righteous, whose forms ye desire to see. And I said to him, and where are all the righteous ones, and what is the icon in which they are and have this glory? And the Lord showed me a very great country outside of this world, exceeding bright with light, and the air there lighted with the rays of the sun, and the earth itself blooming with unfading flowers and full of spices and plants, fair, flowering, and incorruptible and bearing blessed fruit. And so great was the perfume that it was born thence even unto us. And the dwellers in that place were clad in the raiment of shining angels, and their raiment was like unto their country. And angels hovered about them there. And the glory of the dwellers there was equal, and with one voice they sang praises alternately to the Lord God, rejoicing in that place. The Lord said to us, This is the place of your high priest, the righteous men. And over against the place I saw another squalid, and it was the place of punishment. And those who were punished there and the punishing angels had their raiment dark like the air of the place. And there were certain there hanging by the tongue. And these were the blasphemers of the way of righteousness. And under them lay fire burning and punishing them. And there was a great lake full of flaming mire. And which were certain men and that pervert righteousness and tormenting angels afflicted them. And there were also others, women, hanged by their hair over that mire that bubbled up. And these were they who adorned themselves for adultery. And the men who mingled with them in the defilement of adultery were hanging by their feet and their heads in that mire. And I said, 
I did not believe that I should come into this place. And I saw the murderers and those who conspired with them cast into a certain straight place full of evil snakes and smitten by those beasts and thus turning to and fro in that punishment and worms as it were clouds of darkness afflicted them and the souls of the murdered stood and looked upon the punishment of those murderers and said oh god thy judgment is just and near that place i saw another straight place into which the gore and the filth of those who were being punished ran down and became there as it were a lake and there sat women having the gore up to their necks and over against them sat many children who were born to them out of due time crying and there came forth from them sparks of fire and smote the women in the eyes and these were the accursed who conceived and caused abortion and other men and women were burning up to the middle and were cast into a dark place and were beaten by evil spirits. And their inwards were eaten by restless worms. And these were they who persecuted the righteous and delivered them up. And near those there were again women and men knowing their own lips and being punished and receiving a red hot iron in their eyes and these were they who blasphemed and slandered the way of righteousness and over against these again other men and women knowing their tongues and having flaming fire in their mouths and these were the false witnesses and in a certain other place there were pebbles sharper than swords or any spit red hot and women and men and tattered and Filthy raiment rolled about on them in punishment. And these were the rich who trusted in their riches and had no pity for orphans and widows and despised the commandment of God. And in another great lake, a full of pitch and blood and mire bubbling up, there stood men and women up to their knees. And these were the usurers and those who take interest on interest. And another, other men and women were being hurled down from a great cliff and reached the bottom and again were driven by those who were set over them to climb up on the cliff and this were hurled down again and had no rest from this punishment. And these were they who defiled their bodies acting as women and the women who were with them were those who lay with another man as a man with a woman. And alongside of that cliff there was a place full of much fire and there stood men who with their own hands had made for themselves carven images instead of God. And alongside of these were other men and women having rods and striking each other and never ceasing from such punishment. And others again near them, women and men, burning and turning themselves and roasting. And these were they that leaving the way of God.